Okay, this is a pretty quick one. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the ideal gas model, which in actuality is 99% of the time in thermodynamics, the gases we deal with behave as an ideal gas. Okay, so if we think about that compressibility factor, okay, that Z, remember, okay, we talked about this previously. Remember how it all converges to one down at the, the, the left side of that plot, okay? So that's when I have a very small pressure. Also, when I have a large temperature, it converges to one as well. Now, this is relative to that critical point, right, which is the top of the vapor dome. So as long as I'm well above that, that vapor dome, Okay, this thing is an ideal gas, which is most of the gases that, that we deal with, like air, oxygen, CO2. We're going to deal with them at pressures and temperatures, you know, um, well, pressures way below, but temperatures way above uh, that critical, that, that vapor, uh, that vapor dome. Okay, and when that happens, PV equals RT. Okay, remembering that R is actually R bar divided by the molecular weight of whatever substance we're looking at, okay? I could also write this as, rather than in terms of specific volume, I could do it in actual volume, so P times the actual volume equals the mass times RT, okay? Those are really the two forms that you'll see uh, most often uh, in thermodynamics. So again, in actuality, most of the time we're dealing with gases behaving as an ideal, but for completeness, um, this is when I have small pressure, large temperature relative to that, that critical point, uh, which is the top of the vapor dome. That's when the gas behaves as an ideal gas.